In this video, we'll show you how to install a drain line and a safety switch on the Santa Fe Oasis 105 dehumidifier. The first step is install a drain line. In your kit, you will get a drain adapter that'll screw into this lower port on the side. It has thread tape on it. You screw it in hand tight, and then tighten it a few turns using a crescent wrench. This unit also uses a positive pressure drain pan, so a drain trap is not required. Simply install the hose and run the drain line to your drain. Make sure the end of the drain line is not below water and there is a pitch down to the drain. In this next step, we'll install a safety float switch. If the main drain line becomes plugged, the safety float switch will turn the unit off, preventing flooding. The safety float switch that we're using here has a three quarter inch thread that we'll be able to thread into this secondary drain port. Before we install it, there's a plastic membrane in this port that has to be broken out to allow water to flow into the safety float switch. We'll use a simple hammer and chisel or screwdriver to break out that plastic membrane. Once the safety membrane is removed, the safety float switch can now be installed. I'll pull the float switch apart to make it easier for installation. The next step will be to install the float switch. This float switch, if the unit becomes plugged, will rise and that will trigger the control to turn off. We will have to wire the float switch into the control. To do this, the control terminal block removes as so. You will locate the two float terminals in this upper left hand corner. It will be denoted with this one jumper wire in place. We will unscrew those terminals and install the float switch wires. Once those wires are secured, you want to route the wire out of the bottom, then reinstall the terminal block. After the terminal block is reinstalled, the installation is complete.